what's popping with it show for the beat down once again early in the morning w's is all we get it is time my main man my main partner in crime the tag team partner of all time g is <laughs> in the building tell him what my it is. boy was really good with it people uh mbl fam we're back facing off against two really strong battlers t-man and lorsi loves you uh they brought the line noon toga tick option so that's a little scary that is yes not fair to the rest of us playing but if they for- bring the line noon they don't bring shaman uh kiram or medigross so i'm pretty sure line noon well actually they might not bring shaman so i'm gonna go blastoise i don't know if they're gonna bring lando Mariama. You don't know probably. if they're bringing who? Buizel or Floatzel, whatever his name is. Oh, yeah, Floatzel, yeah. Probably, yeah. almost, almost guaranteed because Zapdos, Krugendile, and Togetic are super good against our team. So yeah. uh, we can say pretty confidently probably that is going to happen. And I'm I'm leaning towards Kyurem, Shaman, Metagross, but it could easily be Kyurem, Lanoon, Metagross, one of those two options on the other side. Oh, uh, all right, sleepyhead. Let's get into this battle. Oh man, let's get it. Yeah, and as far as what they didn't yeah, bring, they didn't bring the Mega Altaria, which is kind of expected, and they didn't bring the Tora Cat, which is actually like really, really, really yeah, good because Tora Cat is scary. But it makes sense because they can only use one Eviolite, so you don't really want to bring Togetic and Two under before, yeah. yeah, and Togetic is slower, so. Okay, so they're going to go Zapdos Kyurem, which is 100% fine with us. I think we just fake out into that Zapdos to keep it from destroying our Blastoise and go for, <laughs> go for the Trick Room. Alright, Trick Room, I'm going to confirm that. Yeah, and then next turn, if you're still around, we can get those Stealth Rocks I was talking about up. Because Stealth Rocks does good against Zapdos and the Kyurem and the Togetic. Okay. But let, let's days. definitely get Trick Room up here. And we'll see if they, we'll see if they prepped for hard for the fake out trick room option. But since we have the follow me option, which we showed against Cyber Baz, which worked really well, they might have to be like playing around that a little bit. Ooh, we missed oh, they time. missed! See, I didn't think they would bring something like that because because uh, if we went for if they went for follow me then bro, that's so bad for them they got so unlucky there if they that's go for the because if they go for that it phases us out and we can't even go for trick room but now we just got it free trick room up basically dang they missed though i never knew dragon tail could miss stealth rock time yeah. right yeah let's get them stealth rocks up it's over now their best bet is to switch i can't believe that happened uh, for my side, I'm going to go into Landorus, just because I think they're going to go for an electric move into Blastoise, and I don't have Protect up. I could just go for, like, um, Aura Sphere into Kyurem, but I I don't know if they're going to, like, Protect Kyurem or what they're going to do on that end. Wouldn't, wouldn't Blastoise be faster anyway right now? He can probably attack. Oh, no, we yeah. need him, though. Yeah, it would be faster, but I'm worried, like, because we're so threatening on the Kyurem with the Aura Sphere plus Heavy Slam, both are super effective. They're probably just going to switch out into Metagross or something, in which case the switch into Landorus will help a lot. Okay. And he's and he immune to electricity, so... Yeah, other option is they might be going for the... Uh, the Matter of fact, they switch and get hit by the rocks anyway, so... Yeah, when they come back with the Kyurem eventually, the rocks will be great. And uh, the rocks just help so much because they got Togetic, which will help a lot in Trick Room for them because it has After uh, after You, and Togetic's really slow. Uh, I just like rocks a lot against this team. I, man, we got so lucky with that Dragon Tail miss, though. Because <laughs> I was thinking about that because they could put Roar or on Zapdos and Roar us out before we Trick Room. And stuff like that would yeah. really mess us up. But I was like, eh, if we go for follow me Blastoise, though, it would kind of be a waste. So we switch Real out first. Pain. Intimidate the rest of the rap game. Mm-hmm. Let's go. You hear the Carter 5, bro? Man, I heard I heard a couple of songs. I got to hear the rest on my way to work. Absolute flames. Bro, they switched out Zapdos, so we could have just gotten an attack off with our... Uh... Sheesh. Yeah. But you know what? That's fine, because now Bronzong threatens this entire side. 
<laughs> Fusion Bolt. Oh, okay, so we did predict the electric move well there. And uh, nice. here, definitely just... Heavy Slam. Heavy Slam into the Curum, yeah. I can hit either one of them for super effective damage now. Yeah. We said Curum, right? Yeah, because what uh, I'm thinking they do here is after you, which means the Togetic can use after you, and then the Curum goes right after the Togetic. So if the Togetic has really low speed, which it should, then the Curum will actually move before our Landorus, even though our Landorus has really, uh, has really low speed himself. Okay, I'm gonna confirm. Yeah, sounds good. Right now. And on my end, I'm gonna go right back out into Hariyama here. That'll give us a nice fake out option for next turn. And if they go for an ice move into Landorus, we can eat that up. And I have the close <laughs> combat slash uh, ice move. So, oh, but they're just gonna stay in, let us heavy slam. So they probably didn't go for foul. That did no damage. <laughs> oh god. And they do go for the after you. So ice beam yeah. gonna go off into us. So that would have hurt our Landorus a lot, but we're okay. Well, half of his life? What the hell? Yeah, damage, bro. Damage. Um. Hmm. I have Psych up and I have Heavy Slam. Let's Heavy Slam into the Togetic. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. I can't believe. I mean, Kurum's really heavy. I thought it would at least do like a 3 8 KO, though. So that's my best. That's what I thought too. Yeah, I was like, I was really shocked. Didn't do at least 40%. Yeah, I'm gonna fake out the Kirim just so we can't, uh, you know, take us out here. Okay. Togetic finna use after you and nothing's gonna happen. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Or follow me just to keep the Kirim safe. So, we know they brought Togetic and Zapdos, and if they switch either of those guys in, they're taking a lot of damage from the rocks, which is good. Back. Same with Kirim. Uh, other than that, we don't know anything. So I'm I'm thinking the last on the right side is going to be Crocodile for sure. They should have brought him in then against South Rock. Right. And I'm going to try to time it so that we get the fake out in at the same time as Trick Room ends with either Blastoise or Hariyama. So that way we can fake out this Curum so we can't drag and tail our bronze on. Because right now, neither of them really threaten you with anything. Earth power from Kiram is about all they can go for. And even that is not going to do a lot of damage. <laughs> Bro, the fake out did just as much as the heavy slam. That's what's crazy. That's pretty nuts. That did massive damage. Good oh, roost, though. But um, I think heavy slam still should KO from... Uh, it's going to be really close. Wait. <laughs> Why didn't fake out make him Wait. flinch? What? I'm so confused right now. Oh, it's Pokemon Power. Terrible? Thanks, Austin. No, isn't it that one that doesn't care who you are? It's going to hit you anyway? No, he just breaks through abilities, I thought. Oh, what am I? oh wait a second. Anyway, I got the free switch into Blastoise here, but I don't I don't know what that I went for the fake out, right? I think so. Is there an item that makes you not flinch? Yeah. Man, have they prepared that far? <laughs> oh man. I'm let me look up this stupid Pokemon. Should I hit Kiram or should I hit um Togetic? I'm so confused. That's actually happened before. Inner focus. I took a Hariyama to a party to a MBL battle, like a free for all. Oh my god! I'm. I'm sheer force uh, Hariyama, so that takes away all the secondary effects from the moves. That's, so that's why garbage. Alright, go for the heavy slam on to Togetic again here. That sucks. We can just do the same thing that we did last time. That is so bad. <laughs> that is so bad. I think that probably makes up for the... Uh, yep, the uh, mystery. The mystery. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so close, bro. Okay, so now now we take him out. But um, I wonder. Even now, on his way out, he's gonna use some other move now. Yeah, trick rooms up. So, let's see here. 
he can go for Dragon Tail onto you. It won't do much damage. Send me out. You already won for Stealth Rocks. Okay, they're definitely gonna go for Dragon Tail onto you. So let's let's just go for a Heavy Slam onto Togetic from you. I think is good because it'll go before Dragon Tail. Dragon Tail always goes last. Okay, confirmed. Yeah. And uh, let's see here. I guess I can go for Aura Sphere, but they're probably just gonna go for Follow Me on Togetic. Oh no, he goes for the Earth Power. So we could have Trick Room there, but it's all good. That should be a two uh, two KOs for us. Beautiful. Unless they're like a Salvis or something. So we take out Cube. That's good, but also bad because I was looking forward to roost Stealth Rocks again. taking them out. So they roost, but. Now they, I don't think they really have anything that can. They don't want to switch out for sure though. Man, that does damage. So I can just ice beam into them next turn and take them out. Whatever they bring in here. Oh, well, Shaman. Shaman could be bad. But if they bring in Shaman, we get a, a free uh, trick room. If they bring in Metagross. Oh, we also get a free trick room. They can't really. Yeah, let's <laughs> do anything against Bonzon right now. Unless, uh, they probably carry some coverage though on the Metagross. So it is Shaman. Yeah, 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 not bad. Stealth Rocks, nice. Rocks, nice. Oh, I hear an echo. <laughs> no, nah, it's gone now. Okay, let's go for... I think we definitely go for Trick Room here, right? Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Don't you think that they might have had something planned if they're gonna bring Shaman out like this? I think they just want to get another Roost on their Togetic. They're gonna probably oh. Roost and then... Because I can go for an Ice Beam on the Togetic and take him out here. Okay. But if the Shaman has like a Z Grass move or something... Right. So something, something to disturb us. Right. So I think I'll go into like Lando. I can't believe that fake out failed, man. That was so bad. <laughs> Hit high on the heart too. Yeah. <sighs> that was trash. That was so bad for me. Here you go, Hudson. So they're thinking pretty hard. If they don't have a Z move, then I'll be frustrated that we didn't stay in, but it is what it is. <laughs> Here you go, buddy. Okay. Still thinking, huh? Yeah, our Hariyama could have put in big fellow work against this team, but at least we got rid of the Curum, so our Landorus should be a lot better now. This show. So you went for a Trick Room, right? Yep. Okay, let's see what they did here. Probably Roost Seed Flare, I'm thinking, but I guess you never know for sure. Grass Whistle, and they missed again! Hold on, what? That one actually has bad accuracy, but still. Come on, man. I feel bad. Okay, let's see. Grass Whistle's gonna put us to sleep. So. Well, they're not gonna go first now. If I heavy send this target tick, we're good. Yeah, I think you're right. But actually, don't go for that. Can you heavy slam into the Shaman, but don't lock it in right now? All right. Because my thinking here is both of us are now slower than the Shaman, so we can probably take him out with two attacks. Okay. So I'm gonna calc. Let me know if our whatever's getting low. Good show. We got a minute. Okay, cool. Okay, so Heavy Slam, if it's a Shaman that's fully offensive, we'll do about half. Let's see how much my Landorus is doing here custom set Lando Z rock slide that would be nice dude. he's doing a little over yeah I think we take him out so let's heavy slam into him 
got it. And I'm gonna go for the Z rock slide into him. And even if they go for like, oh yes, he switches out. That's so good. Even worse. I knew it. Oh, intimidate. That's gonna keep the shaman up. Damn it. Very smart. Yeah. What the hell? Good. There you go, Hudson. <laughs> did no damage. How much did it do? I missed it. Hudson keeps bugging me. <laughs> oh, like, I don't know. Maybe a quarter. Okay, so this is definitely not taken out then. <laughs> but I don't see the shaman really being able to, you know. Oh, wait, I forgot grass whistle. So he probably puts one of us to sleep here. Oh, jeez. Oh no, he's just going for a Z move. Why should we Z grass with him? <laughs> That's a normal, so I think it's uh, Omni boosting, whatever. Sweet scent. What? Or not. Oh, so we can hit with hard moves. Evasiveness? That's definitely not all that that did. I think he got like some stab boost or something. <laughs> No, apparently not. What? What was the evasiveness uh -oh, spell? Man, I guess the crocodile could go for like fishers, but no, we're both floating in the air. Bro, watch it be the ultimate play. I'm so confused right now. Okay, if we go for heavy slam and earthquake, it'll take him out, right? Got it. So let's heavy slam the shaman again, because I'm really worried about going to sleep. I don't want to sleep, man. Or actually, did you do that already? Yeah. Okay, that's fine. I didn't know what else. I don't. I didn't think there was any other move anyway. I could have done. Yeah, that's fine. I'm gonna U-turn. I think the U-turn would have taken him out by himself. So you could have got a switch off for free into like, oh, uh, Rotom or something. Lil Wayne using that U-turn, coming straight back to the rap you game. You already know. All right, so we got rid of Shaman and the cure him. They only have one left on the left. Not bad. Gotta go into Blastoise here. And we can fake out support Bronzong next turn. Oh, crunch. Oh, okay. okay. So that's a free switch at least. But now we don't have Trick Room anymore. But we got rid of the big threats. The Kyurem's gone. Uh, actually, Zapdos is still really scary. But we do have we our, our land. Uh, Westbrook. Um, let's see. Their last is probably going to be Metagross. Yeah, I like Rotom Heat here. Let's get it. If we can get rid of this Metagross, then it makes life a lot easier for Ampharos. Because Ampharos does... I mean, sorry. Oh, it's Lionoon. They didn't bring their Mega Metagross. Whoa. That's really good. Should I see Overheat? Well, let me see how many turns of Trick Room we got. Two. Honestly, I think they protect their line on here and they bring in Togetic. Oh, the belly drum. So does that mean we should attack into what's his name? Let's go for Z overheat on I'm thinking Z overheat on Crocodile, but let me calc it first. Okay. Because I wanna go for a Thunderbolt and just call it on the Crocodile, but that's risky. So the Z overheat if it kills Crocodile and it kills Togetic would be like the best. Know what I'm saying? Yep. All right, let's see here. Easy bake. No, we want Russell Westbrook. I can say Crocodile. <laughs> Z overheat time. Okay, if he's moderately bulky instead of super bulky, it's a guaranteed knockout. So yeah, let's go for Z overheat, especially with the stealth rocks. I should all go. Z overheat into the crook, and I'm going to. Aura Sphere into the Lionoon just in case they try to get a free belly drum. Is Aura Sphere as means. inaccurate as Focus Blast? No, it's it's a hundred percent accuracy. Ooh, protect. Did they double protect? No. Oh, they didn't protect their crook? I don't think so. That's so good. Sorry, sorry, I keep asking stupid questions. Hudson keeps getting in my <laughs> grill. No worries. 
Okay, so I mean, I figured that they would protect the line. Um, let's see. So they bring in Togetic. Probably follow me. Sheesh. Oh, crit. I don't even know. Crit Z moves. <laughs> Sheesh. Okay, what's really good here is Togetic uh, comes in and takes Stealth Rock damage, so he might be in Ice Beam range, which means that. Our... I have Thunderbolt also. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. So, whichever one of us moves first should go for the move that takes out the Togetic, definitely. Let me check our speeds. Just... You think I should do Volt Switch and go into Ampharos? Uh, Thunderbolt, because we need all the damage we can get. But let me see if I go first. Because if I'm moving first. You went first last time. You used Aura Sphere before I used. Did I? Yeah. Okay, good looks. Yeah, because your speed is 159, mine is 144. So, I should be going first. So, I'm going to Ice Beam into him. And on your end. I think just overheat into the line. Oh, you sure? Okay. Yeah, because we want as much damage. Or I guess you could Thunderbolt if we're worried about a miss. I don't think overheat's going to miss. We have a miss overheat. <laughs> we, mostly we only go for Z overheats. I think we did actually miss an overheat at a crucial time a couple weeks ago. Oh, jeez. So it's totally your call. Overheat time. Overheat. On okay, I'm going to ice beam into this Togetic. All right. So follow me going off. They're gonna try to get off the belly drum here. See, we got ice beamed and died. <laughs> ice beam should take them out, unless they're super. Oh! 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 That was clutch. Holy crap! Wow. How did they know? Belly drum. The crap. stealth rocks just barely didn't do enough, man. But they have a lot of ground that they have to make up now. Oh no. Yeah, and our trick room's up, so the Zapdos is also gonna be moving first. So they're down to their last mounds on both sides. Wait a sec. Trick room is already up? It's it's uh, over, I meant to say. Oh no. Yeah. So I think two against four. On your I end. Hmm. I think Volt Switch. And it doesn't really matter who you Volt Switch into. Probably Linun. Yeah. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. And on my end, I'm gonna Aura Sphere into the Linun. The Zapdos probably carries the Z move, but last time I switched hard into Landorus, so I think they're gonna be worried about that and not risk it onto. <sighs> Bro, clutch! Who they thunderbolt into? You! Yes. See, yes. they live the clutch one with their token tick. We live a clutch one with our Blastoise. Let's get it. Bringing that Ampharos. Not bad at all. Lamb chops. That lamb talk. <laughs> Let that lamb talk. Let's go. That's what I'm saying. Or is Please die. Please die. Yes! Yes! Bitch. That's damage. That's another win for us, bro. We got some luck. We got a lot of luck with the Dragon Tail miss, and then a little for bit sure. more luck with the Grass Whistle with miss. We did. We made a horrible mistake bringing Sheer Force Hariyama and forgetting and totally <laughs> putting fake out on it. That's my bad, my guy. All right, let's yeah, uh, Mega Evolve and Thunderbolt into him. Mega Evolve Thunderbolt. I'm gonna Ice Beam into him. There's no way Zapdos is going to let you live. Yeah, they're going to try to go for differential. So I could be a jerk and switch into Lando, but I don't want to risk it because yeah. if they hard read that, they could HP ice into Lando, take him out, and then we might actually end up somehow choking this game away. So I'm just going to play oh, straight actually, forward. Look yeah, at the hair. Right. Look at the hair. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Man. Watch it be a ground move. <laughs> Or an ice it's move. gonna be something. I mean, they wouldn't waste it on the Blastoise, so it's going into you. Okay, it's just the Z. The I guess it could take you out. Don't dragons resist thunder though? Oh, maybe they just were worried that I was gonna protect because they did use it into me. Yeah, because uh -huh. if they, even if they use if they use that on Ampharos, dragon resists electric and electric resists electric, so it would do yeah, like ten damage. <laughs> Die. 
So if I wanted to Landorus there like I was telling you that I should, then it would have been a 4-0 instead of a 3-0. But we'll give him that differential there for the safety that of happens, a free, yeah. free win. Man. Man, the fans are going to go crazy for this one. Another win, beatdown. What's going on? We just Bro, we know. beat Cybertron and we beat the uh, Team Drinking Birds. That's two very strong teams. Cybertron, we beat them because they weren't prepared. Lorsi, we beat them with a little bit of hacks. I'm not sure if they got that <laughs> dragon tail off, if we would have still won. So really sorry, Lorsi and Team Man. Uh, good game this week, though. I know that hurts. I know that yeah, hurts. Yeah, we definitely know how it feels because our week one, we were missing a lot. And uh, you just got to come back next week stronger, so which I'm sure they'll do. So. Man, true. Beat down. We're four and two, my guy. We're four and two. <laughs> Looking like no some sense. power houses. All right, next week I, I bring it. Follow me, Blastoise, because apparently everyone's gonna be ready for it with the uh, Dragon Tail roar mechanics, all of that. We're following me from the, from here on out. Yeah. But now that I said that, they'll be ready for follow me. So maybe I'll better fake out. You know what? It's a 50 50 You're just gonna see. Have to see when we show up. Exactly. <laughs> I'll just cut this part off the tape. Right? But man, <laughs> Rotom Heat, add into his kill total, add into that MVP, Fact. MVP ballot. <laughs> what else? And Bros came through to some work against the damn Zapdos. <laughs> yup. Stealth Rocks helped a lot, but um, the Togetic still ended up living with like what appeared to be like one HP. That was crazy. It made me mad, but it's all good now. Yeah. Man, oh, okay. Man. Far two. Right. I'm hyped. Let's get it. That's a good day. Thanks for coming through. As always, beat down. Uh, yeah, right. Paying attention when Hudson was trying to mess me up and take the W away from us, but it's not happening, Hudson. Not it is today. Not happening. Facts. Matter of fact, <laughs> what you need to do now is get on your Switch, approve my friend request. Yup. <laughs> it's time. Get your ass beat in literally whatever game you want. All right, all right. I might even download Fighter Z today if I got time. Okay. I know I gotta leave it a little yourself. bit. Yourself. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Oh, wait. No, it's Beatdowns. It's your channel, right? All right. Do, oh, yeah, do the no outro. Worries. Hit him with the outro. <clears throat> Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for watching this W. Thank you for watching us whoop ass. It is time for more ass whooping next week Let's at 12 o'clock p.m. Hey, clean. <laughs> Doses. Um, don't forget, check us out on iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. We got music out, GE, Show for the Beat Down, Show yeah, for yeah, 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 yeah. Token Black, Shizzy Six Seconds. Ooh, we. Yup. It is time. Um, and fight me on Fighters, Dragon Ball Fighters, because I don't have no challenging opponents yet, especially GE. <laughs> I'm gonna beat you with Krillin, bro. I'm gonna beat you with that <laughs> bro, Krillin. I'm gonna quit. I'm gonna quit the game. <laughs> all right, do this. Thank you.